Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Grandia. Last time we made our way through the savanna, which did not look like a savanna at all. In fact, it looked like a canyon lands, or a badlands, or a desert, even. And now we're up on this Brennan Plateau, headed towards Lane Village, um, in order to speak to Milda's husband, Dorlin, about Alent and the Icarians, and, you know, all that kind of good stuff. Oh wow, these enemies are kind of dumb. I'm shocked that I didn't aggro them. And here we have a kind of fun mechanic. Yeah, just kind of roll the snowball down the hill, and boom! What that's going to do is it's going to fill in a gap that I didn't show you earlier. <laughs> but it will allow us to cross said gap right here. And then we'll be able to grab some more treasure. Whoa! Oh, a fire sword. The fire sword isn't as good as, you know, what we already have. We have a lightning sword, which is so much better. But these enemies are weak to fire. Um, if you want to use that, you can. I would honestly just rather use fire magic um, than use a fire elemental sword. But that's just me. Okay, we're back at the save point. If you want to use that to recover, hey, go right ahead. Be my guest. I don't want to. What I want to do is go over this path and, whoa, get ambushed. No, not exactly get ambushed, but just, whoa, whoa, get ambushed again. I really actually need to, you know, look where I'm going. That would be a start. Ah, I'm scared now. Whoa. Another sword? A silent sword? This one has two more attack power than the fire sword, and it has a magic block ability um, attached to it. If you want to use it, go ahead. I really don't think it's necessary at all. Um, yeah, I kind of wish that one of them was like an axe or a mace or something else. Like, why give us two swords in one dungeon? Give us something that we haven't really seen yet before, you know? I mean, maybe it's just me. But that would make sense. I mean... You have throwing weapons, you have knives, you have all sorts of other weapon types, and you're going to give us two swords? Like, give us some variety. Oh yeah, we have whips too, I forgot about whips. I mean, there's so many different things. They could make a silence whip, or whoa! Or this is bullshit, I get ambushed all the time, whip. Something like that would actually help. Any way. Please! Arr! Yeah, I'm not the smartest. I should probably just face these guys head on, and then I wouldn't get ambushed all the time. I know, but I really am trying to avoid as many monsters as possible, too. Oh, what is this? An experience charm? See, I avoided those guys. What does this thing do? An experience charm. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. An explosion charm. Okay. I got you, game. I got you. Oh, well, let's just continue right along through here. Let's see. Hey, we've made it on through. Um, I kind of just want to double check. Is there anything over here? Of course there isn't. There's just another encounter. That's the story of my life. Is this like a rainbow lake? That's super cute. Oh, okay. Unlike the women, I guess. The three wise men. Yeah, I do. Well, hopefully. This is spring? I guess the snow's melting. Huh. Well, we gotta take advantage of the spring while we can. Oh. Um, oh, we can't actually spend the night at the inn? Huh. Well, there is a stashing spot. I am gonna want to stash. Um, and then over here, let's just talk to this person real quick. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, shot by the water in a vacant house. Oh, they're not kidding. There's literally nothing inside this house, but there is some stuff inside the shop. So let's go inside. I'm going to sell. I'm going to stash. Then we're going to do some buying. 
I got that taken care of, so let's look and see what he has for sale. Um, let's see, I don't really need any kind of dagger. Spina and Rat both have one in their bed, or we just got the silent sword in there. Um, I'm not really working on whips right now for Fina, and I don't want the movement down. This also has movement down, so does this one. But the only one we're actually worth buying is the split axe. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we're going to trade that. Well, actually, no, let's go ahead and... Okay, what does he have? He has the home run hammer. So let's go ahead and stick that one on Justin right now um, so that he can work on his axes. The reason for that is because he currently is a level 33 at sword. He only needs to be at level 32. Um, he's working on axes, so he needs four axe levels, and he only needs four mace levels as well. So we might as well just stick him with that for right now, since it is better than the mace um, that we already had. Over here, we get some extra defense against Blizzard, and we are going to be going into some cold areas, but I don't think that we really need that mink coat. These also have move downs, and again, I don't want to deal with the move downs. If you want some extra defense, have this. It doesn't give you any move, though, so I wouldn't really recommend it. As far as the armor that we have, though, we have this aura armor, which gives plus one skill power level, which is very nice. Fina has the plus 15 action, plus with the hurricane belt, she is just a speed demon. She can come with a pinch and heal or debuff or buff or do whatever it is that I need her to do um, with her high speed. Ramp has the Dark Armor for extra SP res restoration, and Milda the Aura Armor as well, so I don't really think that I want to waste all that money. How much is 8,000 gold? Yeah, I don't want to waste all that money on just some Blizzard protection for one dungeon. That's okay. I'm going to pass on that. Well, what is it? Yeah, are you alright? That's Darlin? That? <laughs> he looks so stupid. Look at him. He's huge. He doesn't even look like a human. They have bestiality in this village? Um. Wow. He's like literally a cow. He's kind of cute though. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for our dinner scene. Yep, that's her husband. I guess women come out as human and men come out as cows in this village. Odd, to say the least. Well, at least he's nice. <laughs> no kidding. Talking bull? This is bullshit! Yeah, that was us. How do you know about that? That's so far away. I mean, that's beyond the plateau, beyond the desert. Beyond the petrified forest, I mean, come on. Well, he is one of the three wise men, so I guess he knows a lot. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, what is Gaia? Oh, yeah, Guido, I forgot about him. <gasps> really? What do you know about the ancient Angelo? Yeah, do you know something? Tell us. Oh, the spirit stone that we have in storage that I haven't taken out of storage since the beginning of the game, that one? It does exist! It's like that crappy Christmas carousel with Santa Claus. <laughs> oh yeah, the Medal of Wisdom that she gave us that I also threw inside the storage. Got you. Yeah, we're the chosen one. Well, of course we are. Really, Justin? You're just now figuring this out? Okay, so please tell us. Oh, yeah, I got plenty. Oh, yeah, lean. That happens to be Fina's sister, so if Lean's in a carrion, isn't Fina in a carrion too? Yeah, what? I, 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 yeah, that's a good question. What is in a carrion? 
She's the priestess of the Shrine of Alent, so she's not an Icarian. She's just like the messenger, I guess. Oh, okay, so I guess we can enter and then we can help the petrified people with our Medal of Wisdom. Oh. Oh. I guess so. Oh, great. So you can tell us all this, but you can't tell us anymore because I guess you have a three question limit. So we have to go and talk from, from Darlin to Durlin. Isn't there also a Dorlin? I think that there is. At least in Grandia Parallel Trippers there was. Yeah, tell me! Oh, okay. I guess we do need to dilly dally shilly shally. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> Ain't you a bear with an athlete's foot? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, yeah, that vacant house that we went to uh, first. Oh, okay. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, like chewing the cud, I guess. So, where's Durlin's house? He lives two doors down west of here. It's the house with the axe leaning on it. You can't miss it. Great. Kids and JRPGs. My favorite. I can't wait. Okay. Hey there. The lower village? Wait. So is your village... Petrified too? So Lane and Cafu are both the same. I guess there was another village here that got petrified and uh, they moved houses. Or not moved houses, they, they, they moved villages. I like how there's, like, a barn attached to these houses, like, every single one right on the side. I guess that's where the men sleep. Who knows? Oh, wow. Well, there's nothing wrong with, you know, wanting more out of life. Huh. Oh, this must be the house all these kids in front of it. I don't see an axe leaning against it, though. Unless it's that thing hanging in front, I guess. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> A Moge Merchant Bankruptcy Court, yeah. Well, let's go inside and talk to Durlin. Hey there. What are you, cooking? Uh, hey. Oh, okay, so you're making medicinal herbs. And somehow that's researching Angelin. Who knows? Yeah, we're from the Tower of Doom. We're all the way from Luthia. Wait, Guido? Yeah, no kidding. He really gets around, doesn't he? Oh. Well, what happened? Seems that way. So then they did create Gaia. And then I guess... Angelo got petrified, too. Oh. Wow, you're really putting two and two together there, aren't you, Fina? Yeah, no kidding. 
There's, there, there, there must be a way. So how to restore the spirits? I guess kill Gaia? How convenient for us. Oh, great. Of course. That one particular page and that one particular book is uh, torn and he can't read it. That's lovely. Reminds me of something from Final Fantasy V. Yeah, but where is Alent? That's, you know, the main question. Oh, Dorlin knows how to get there, but what's the problem? Yeah, thanks, Dorlin, but where's Dorlin? What's the issue now? Lovely. Oh, great. Are you gonna tell us where Dorlin is? No, you're not. Oh. So Dorlin's met the AT. He lives in a tower? Lovely. He doesn't just live in town. His tower is to the southeast on the banks of the lake. Okay. But what they don't tell you is that that tower is actually inside the village. It's this. The first time playing this, I was like going out to the world map and I was like, where's this tower? I don't know. I couldn't find it, but it's literally this. This is the guy's tower. Yeah, so, uh, spill it. Yeah? So, where is it? Oh. You don't seem as wise as the other two. Wait, what do you mean? You don't know what color her eyes were. I don't remember what color her eyes were, either. What? Who? Who are you talking about? Fina? Okay, so go to the Rainbow Spring to Alent to meet the beauteous Leite. Wait, where are you? Who are you? Are you alright? Yeah, what's going on? You're like going crazy? He's not exactly wise. What do you mean you left your horn in the lower village? You can't just take your horn on and off. This isn't an accessory. It grows on your body. That's like me saying I left my arm back in the other village. Like, that's not something you just forget. It doesn't work that way. His horns hold his knowledge. I would say so. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we have yet another petrified village to go into. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, just like in Kafu. Huh, you think? No kidding, you guys actually have a lot more in common than you realize, Rap. It's just southeast of the village gate, you go out the gate, and you'll be able to find it. So basically we just go out to the world map and it should appear, I would imagine. That makes sense to me. I wonder if we can actually stay at the inn now. Maybe get a dinner scene. That'd be kind of nice. Um, yeah, I could use a good meal. Woohoo, we do get a dinner scene. Yeah, everybody really is very nice. I don't know why the people of Kafu hate them so much. Like, everybody here is really nice. They're nicer than they are in Kafu, even. Well, yeah, because they're cows. So they're cannibals. Sure. Oh. I guess they eat moose and elk and whatnot. <laughs> That's what I said! You took the words right out of my mouth, Rap. Huh. Yeah, it is nice. 
Either that or they just wear thicker clothes. Okay, so she's already said what she has to say. You're good. Have you said everything? Okay, you're kind of done too. Okay. So we got all that taken care of. Let's uh, just get on out of here. And now we're at the abandoned lane village. What's going on in here? Oh. Do we like walk into a dimensional vortex or something? Yeah. The space is warped and twisted with monsters living here as well. That's just great. Oh, perfect. Of course it was the furthest one away. God forbid it be right by the front gate. That would just make things far too easy. But anyway, we're going to be exploring this twisted hellhole of a dungeon next time on Let's Play Grandia. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.